So you think those nifty portable video cameras are cute? Check out the current model iPod Nano. You can shoot high quality video with sound and even apply special video effects. Turn your current model iPod Nano around and you'll find the lens and microphone on the back. Be careful not to block the lens or microphone with your fingers. Hold the iPod Nano on its edges when recording for best results. To use the iPod Nano as a video camera, choose Video Camera from the main menu. The screen turns into a viewfinder. When you're ready to begin shooting, press the Select button. Press it again to stop recording. While you are recording, a blinking red light appears in the upper right corner of the display, next to the recording time. Now, about those special effects. Keep in mind that you can only apply special effects before recording. The iPod Nano can't add or remove effects after recording, and you can't change video settings while recording. To shoot video with special effects, choose Video Camera from the main menu, then press and hold the Select button to display the video effects palette. Scroll the click wheel to highlight the effect you want, then press the Select button. Press Select again to start shooting with the special effect, and press it again to stop recording. The iPod Nano saves your recorded videos in the camera roll. To watch what you just recorded, select Video Camera and press the menu button to show the camera roll. Select a video by its date and time and press the Select button to play it. To delete a recorded video on your iPod Nano, choose Videos, then Camera Videos, and select a video from the list to delete. Press and hold the Select button until a menu appears. Scroll the click wheel to highlight Delete or Delete All, and then press Select. If you see a dialog asking you to confirm your deletions, click Delete. To transfer any saved videos to your computer, connect your iPod Nano to your computer as you normally would to sync it. On a Mac, iPhoto may pop up automatically. If not, be sure you have iPhoto open. Then select the videos you want and click the Import Selected button. After importing the videos into the iPhoto library, iPhoto will ask whether you want to delete the originals from the iPod Nano. Click Delete Originals to delete the videos from the iPod Nano, or click Keep Originals to save them. On a PC, you first need to enable the iPod Nano for disk use. Select the iPod Nano in the Device section of the Source pane, click the Summary tab, and select the Enable Disk Use option. In addition to appearing in iTunes, your iPod Nano from this point on also appears on your computer as an external hard drive with the same name you gave it during initial setup. The DCIM folder on your iPod Nano stores your recorded video. You can copy this folder to your computer so that you can view the video on your PC or to back up the video files. To clear space on your iPod Nano after you've copied your recorded videos to your computer, delete them from the DCIM folder. 